we are happy. Thank you because of joining us this day. Mm -hmm. As we share word of God, even as we climax, mm -hmm. as we are talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Allow me to introduce Teresia as she gives us our lady leader to give us a word of prayer as we start. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we bow in thy presence because of the great love that you have for each one of us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for loving us so deeply, so widely. And Lord, even as we read your word this morning and as we discuss, we pray for the power and knowledge of your word. O Holy Spirit of God, we submit ourselves unto you and even to our listeners. The Lord, you may minister to each one of us, for it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, we thank God. Today we are talking about agape love. But before we proceed, let us hear the word that is guiding us today. Our guiding scripture today is Matthew chapter 5, uh, from verse 43 to verse 48. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward do you get? And even, are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore as your heavenly father is perfect. Thank you because of that word. Now, when we talk about agape love, um, it is the final stage of the fruit or the completion or the maturity mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. so that we can become Christians with the right character. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, um, what do you think, what agape love, what is agape love? Um, before even like, we got to that, we are talking about the full fruit and also ripe. See them, bitchy. Remember on uh, on on uh, Monday? Was it on Monday we were talking about the avocado? Yes. And you know you can't eat no matter how much you try. You can't eat an unripe oh, avocado. Yes. You can't. I have a much you love avocados, and you know me, I'm a love of avocados, mm -hmm. but you can't eat an unripe one. And so the fruits of the Spirit must not only be fully grown, but also ripe. May the Lord help us. Mm -hmm. So God's uh, love, agape, as we've read in uh, Matthew, as Jesus, you know, takes a twist on uh, the mosaic law, mm -hmm. which uh, now was telling people, to hate their enemies. If you don't love me, then I don't have to love you. And now as Christians, and as she was reading the, the scripture, I was just thinking, oh my goodness. Because Christians today, we've not really cultivated this agape love. It is still not right. Yes, we have it, but it is still not right. Mm -hmm. Nobody can enjoy it. Why? We are vengeful, we are people who want uh, our space and we want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, show people, other people that they are bad. But agape love, it doesn't matter whether you are unholy, God will not uh, throw you aside. Because why you and me are Christians today? It's not because we were good, we were sinners, mm -hmm. but God loved us. Mm -hmm. While we were still sinners, that is what Paul likes. Mm -hmm. And even the unthankful, people who don't even, they don't even, uh, they imagine that whatever they have is theirs, but God's love. So I'm imagining of this love which is so complete, so encompassing, mm -hmm. so unconditional. Uh -huh. exactly, I was waiting for you to yes. that word. Mm -hmm. You know, unconditional. Mm -hmm. But as human beings, 
I will love you because you love me, or I'll love you because you do blah 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 for mm. me. I don't want to take a lot of you, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a quite a, I'm actually a amazed that the, the, I was waiting for you to use that word, mm. unconditional. Mm. Because when you read the book of Matthew, he, he comes out very clearly yeah. that you're not uh, greeting people who know you. Yes. You're not being kind to the people that know you, but you're being kind even for th to those that are known and known to you. And I like the way he, he puts it this way, that when God sends rain, he sends yeah. it to the righteous yeah. and, and the unrighteous. Righteous. You can imagine how unconditional God is. Hata sema kwa kutanyesha siresia na kwa muenza kwa kutanyesha. Mvua ikinyesha anatunyeshea sote. Baraka zake zikidia zinatufikia sote. That's how unconditional kind of love God has for us. And it's such a complete love. Mm -hmm. yes. I, I like basing my... my, my my, my statements or my, my, my thoughts with things that I've experienced. Mm. This movie I also watched. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a fan of movies. You're going to know that now. <laughs> so um, there was this group, they were traveling. Uh, there was a first, I think there were three groups. But whenever they, they, they reached a point, they were told to turn back because the road could not, was not possible. So when they returned, they, there was only that, like a small diner where they would go now to probably to have something as they wait for the weather to, 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 to come down. So when the, 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 the one who was at the restaurant attending was a man and he had a tag and his name was Jesus. And then they, they, they were saying, you, you can't be serious, you cannot be Jesus. Mm -hmm. Tell him Jesus. And then a lady asked him, if you're Jesus, why do you let bad things happen? How do you see a person raping somebody mm -hmm. and you do not do anything about it? And this is what it was his response. He said, the rapist and the victim. I love them both with the same kind of love. So I, I, he cannot kill this person because he's sinning, mm -hmm. but he loves them both. So when you talk about the agape love, this is the kind of love that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Maybe just back to you. How, what, what, what instances or examples do we have in the Bible of people who, who showed this kind of love that God has for us? Um. Thank you um, so much for that question. We have uh, uh, the scripture from Luke 23 and verse 34. When uh, Christ was being crucified, and remember, uh, the crowd is the one that chose to have Barnabas freed and Christ crucified. And there's another place I was reading, I think it's still in this study that we are doing, that... Um, you know, uh, uh, that we are the Barnabas because Christ died in our place. Mm -hmm. And because he died, it is Barnabas. He died in the stead of Barnabas. Mm. <coughs> so you and me are the Barnabas today. And I have never thought about it. Mm -hmm. So Christ at the cross says, forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they do. And even his sacrifice at the cross is because of the great love that he has for you and me. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the book of Acts <coughs> is also a good example that gives us the story of uh, Stephen. Mm -hmm. When Stephen uh, met these guys who decided to descend on him, like we have seen happen in <coughs> our towns, where people just decide they are going to come bring a mob justice yeah. on, uh -huh. on somebody. Uh -huh. And they came with stones and all manner of things, all because of his faith. <coughs> and he chose n to forgive them. And he said, Lord, do not charge them for this sin. I think that was an unconditional love or an agape love uh -huh. that he saw beyond what they were doing because to the, to him I think he saw the, what they were doing they were not understanding what they were doing but he had reached a place where his fruit was mm -hmm. very ripe, very ripe. ripe. Yeah. and he could actually forgive them for the sin that they were committing to him mm -hmm. of stoning him at that particular time mm -hmm. so he was actually a, 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 a what a, a ripe Avocado. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which a, is very strange. Yes, yeah. it was a ripe avocado at that particular time. And he could pray that the Lord forgives those that were stoning him at that particular time. Wow, I like that. And you know, this agape love, it has a certain um, effect 
on people. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's one scenario in the Bible where maybe you can quote as you finish, whereby we can we can see what love actually did to somebody. Uh, yes, thank you, Bernard. Um, we have uh, the Saul, uh, who was later uh, changed the name from Saul to Paul mm -hmm. by this agape love. You know, the love of God. Uh, when he, you 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 come across it and you interact with it, and you accept it to change you from the inside out, then uh, you, you really become a different person. And this is what happened to Paul. As he was going to Damascus, he was going to persecute the Christians, but upon meeting with the agape love, uh, he changes and he becomes now the person who uh, takes the gospel so that people can be saved. You know, I'm getting uh, tempted to sing, um, you know, a chorus that we really sing, but of course we, we sing it in our mother tongue. When you meet with the power of God, you know, and this is what uh, Paul, you know, this power of God is actually the love of God. Yes. And it is my prayer, even as we are coming to the conclusion of the word this week, and how, you know, I'm just looking at it that we are, we are concluding the, word, the week at a high note, mm. talking about the all-encompassing love of mm. God, mm. the agape love, which is, uh, you know, you do not have to give anything to experience it. You just have to submit yourself to it and you really ben uh, reap the benefits of this agape love. Thank you. Wow. I'm imagining, you know, let me go back to that cat. <laughs> this will be called the seed because, of our cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it has ripened. Yes. And when we were starting the week, we said that uh, the seed gives us a fruit. Yes. And the fruit matures and gives us more seeds. Mm -hmm. So here we have agape love, uh, uh, an aspect of maturity. And we were discussing with my son, it is something that I love avocado, but I never thought about it. Eh? That uh, the fresh that we eat was not really uh, meant for us to be eating, though we enjoy it and God has allowed us to eat. Mm. But uh, the main function of that fresh part is to protect the seed inside. Mm. So that when the avocado falls from the tree, because, uh, and this one is because we are having very tall avocado trees and uh, we are having some avocados dropping and uh, sprattling, that when the fresh are a part of the avocado, which we enjoy, because it has ripened at the tree top, nobody came and cut it uh, early. You know, we, we usually cut them early. Mm. But now when it ripens at, at the top there, when it falls down, the fresh part of sprouts, protecting the seed. And I, I, I think I want to be an avocado. Praise <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> wow. Because the wow. seed inside, yes, you have produced fruit, mm -hmm. but remember there is the danger mm -hmm. of even the seed being destroyed, mm -hmm. and then you want to get more fruit. Mm -hmm. But you see, now this avocado, the fresh part, protects the seed, mm -hmm. so that it ensures that there is continuity. So the fruits that we have, that be that part that we enjoy, mm -hmm. it protects the seed that is Precisely. in us. Mm -hmm. Precisely. We thank God because of that. And what a way to end the week, mm -hmm. what a high note. And we thank God because of what we are doing here. We thank God because of the knowledge and the inspiration that he has given us. We pray that this agape love 
can fill every Christian's heart. Mm. What a wonderful church we would have. What a wonderful world we would have. Only for God. Anyway, we thank God because of that. Let us pray as we come to a close. Eternal Father, we thank you because of this amazing work that you're doing. Indeed, you're renewing people, you're transforming them, even you're pruning them, especially during this, this time of COVID-19. And our Father, as we've come to a close, talking about the agape love, how we pray that you may help us to mature and become ripe, that we may be able, oh God, to show that agape love to other people, only for your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Amen. See you next week.